it really amazes me how back in the day, like what, 60s, 70s, they just made cars this small. I mean, of course it doesn't look small on camera, but like, when you look at just a regular Shelby, this thing is dwarfed. I, <laughs> I literally just have no words at all. I would hate to put that next to this big old Escalade. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I couldn't even imagine that size comparison. This thing is humongous. I mean, I <laughs> like even going 20 miles an hour, if this thing hits that sab, it's completely over. And please don't get me started with this Fiat. I feel like this is an unfair comparison since that's an SUV, but park that next to the rolls oh my god <laughs> I, I'm very intrigued about the car but at the same time I just could not be in this car I would fear for my life the moment I put the seatbelt on <laughs> ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel welcome back to the vlogs this is another day here at Silo um, probably twice a week well twice this week because I'm here, what, it's Wednesday. They're about to have a car show on Friday. <sighs> Hope it's not going to be cold because I'm really getting tired of cold car shows. I feel like I don't really appreciate the muscle cars in here. Like, some people say I should, but, I mean, I still like them. I mean, everybody knows that I'm an exotic car guy. You guys all know what, what muscle car that, that I want. <laughs> but, man... It, it, it trips me out how they were making cars this small back in the day and then meanwhile you got these cars that you couldn't even parallel park with because they're just so elongated but like <laughs> I don't know what they were doing back in the day but they were doing it right man like did some of these people ever just think to themselves we're really making gems right now like 40 30 40 years from now these cars are still going to be appreciated these cars are probably going to be worth a lot of money like these are some investments i feel like a lot of people knew what was about to happen because sometimes i see some of these cars um like even like at auctions like they won't even be re, re rebuilt like they'll still be in mint condition not that many miles on them it's just <laughs> kind of, it like really amazes me i love how growing up playing midnight club they had the muscle car tournaments, and I love seeing this one on there. They had a uh, Corvette of some sort. I forget what, what year, but I'm pretty sure it was this specific uh, version. <laughs> uh, let me tell y'all something. That tournament was very difficult. All of them were. I'm not even going to lie to you. If you ever played Midnight Club 3, you would know the muscle car tournament. The muscle car tournaments were very difficult they all just drifted in the turns what location was that atlanta drifting everywhere the ais were not making it easy for anybody i think the worst type of ai cars that were in that game were the muscle cars the chevy ssrs and the g wagons if you know you know trust me Comment section down below which one would you guys rather take a Bentley Bentayga or a G-Wagon I mean it can be any spec you want just which one I'm curious I'm gonna be 100% honest with y'all um I prefer G-Wagons but this is Volvo though <laughs> hear me out Mad Max there was like one car um in coffee meet cars and coffee show at uh the grammar how performance it was doing at Indianapolis Motor Speedway and I could have sworn it was a truck like this 
it was like a combo of like three or four of them. They were just so low to the ground and I just, I cringed. Kudos to y'all for having cars low to the ground. I just could not do it. It's not that I don't like it. I mean, it's cool, like, but where I come from, potholes. Can't forget the speed bumps either. People really get shocked at me when I tell them I don't like hell cats. It's too common. Like, it's just too common. And like, the new muscle car fleet, give me a Camaro. Like, I will be fine with the Camaro. I mean, of course, the one with all the options, but yeah. I actually like how they parked both the two land boats next to each other. <laughs> Showing up the yachts for the Monaco Grand Prix. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm over here walking past the cruise ship. And then we're walking past the one boat that might catch on fire. Finishing off with the speed boats. Okay, let me stop talking about boats. We are in the midst of cars right now. They got, they got an event going on right now. So I'm just in here chilling. <laughs> the food is smelling good though. I kind of want to ask them for some food, but I'm not going to be that person. <laughs> you know what I want to see parked next to this car? I want to... They don't have a front engine Ferrari in here. I want to see an A12. No, I need to stop talking about the A12. I know. I can't stop talking about front engine supercars. Like, somebody please help me. Help me. It's not that I don't like the mid engines. I just need an A12 super fast. Justin understands it. <laughs> to a certain extent. <laughs> you know, looking at this Porsche kind of reminds me. I need to... I think there's a collector somewhere that has a whole bunch of uh wide body porsches and we need to check that out sooner than sooner than later because i've seen a few of them at some car shows and i was just shocked so yeah hopefully that comes to the channel soon i mean fingers crossed right i know i've been here quite a few times and i've seen a lot of cars like rotate and stuff but ever since i've been here ever since it might have been at least like a year now that I've been to this place. I've never seen this car move. This Corvette. Um, <laughs> I don't, and the the uh, Diablo. I I know that the, they said that the guy that owns that might have forgot about it. I don't know. But we don't ever talk about this one. They got a... Where, where the yellow one at? I forgot what they said about this this Corvette, this yellow Corvette right here, but um, hang on a second. In all honesty, this is like the dark horse of like the whole showroom. Um, oh, bro, I keep thinking somebody's over there. This is legit the dark horse. Um, I really forgot what they told me about this car. I noted, I noted this fast. I noted this Bentoon. It's it's like a um one of those like exclusive model model vets. Ugh. I'm gonna have to have somebody come explain this car <laughs> to the channel for y'all. Seeing this car makes me miss Miami, low key. I know I'm still recovering from <laughs> some PTSD that happened over there. Uh, I'll save that for another video. But like, I kid y'all not, man. <laughs> this was so funny. I literally thought I saw Lotus Elise, and I just whipped my phone and I started taking pictures. And I walked up really, really, really close to it. And I was like, let me go ahead and take a picture of the um, hood. And then I looked at that T and I was like, what kind of Lotus is this? <laughs> I'll never forget that moment. I got, like, I was so let down. But at the same time, I was really hyped. Because I was like, I've never seen one of these before. Like, growing up, I had a Hot Wheels version of a, Tes of a Tesla Roadster. And I was intrigued by it. Seeing one in person now, it's, it's cool. But, like, come on, man. Speaking of Lotus, I want to go back to Gator Motorsports. Hopefully when it gets a warmer, I'll, I'll, I'll try to convince them to like, for us to like go on like a drive for like one of the, one of the Lotuses that they have in there. Cause I just keep thinking about Evoras like over the past few weeks. And I just need to get a sense of like that Evora again. Cause that was so much fun. I think I've had the most fun being in some of them Lotuses than like a lot of other cars. Um, the R8 is still up there, but <laughs> yeah, man, we need to make that happen again. First time checking out the back of the Sab. A lot of leather. Uh, decent luggage space, I guess. You can go grocery shopping in this. What? Imagine going grocery shopping in this back in the day. That, 
I think I talked about that in one of my last videos. I'm not gonna talk about it again. It's just wild. Sometimes it feels really refreshing just sitting on a chair, looking at this. This is an amazing view, minus the tables, but this is just like an amazing view, you know. Wish they had more indie cars in, in here. They should definitely invest in getting another one. <laughs> have like an old one and then have like a new one kind of like right next to each other. That'd be tight. Regular Stingray Z06. We're just missing the ZR1. I need to check to see if they actually have pictures of the, of the new ZR1 because I need to see that. Maybe I'll appreciate this car more. You already know who's in first. Who got the trophy? Oh man. <laughs> Oh man, man, oh man. See, this car right here makes me miss Muncie. I'm not even gonna lie, when I went to Ball State and they had all those dealerships, I saw Ford GT and then I saw this. And I was, <laughs> I was really in love because I already loved the C7s. And this one right here just takes the cake. Like, <laughs> oh man. Uh, uh, dream, dream, Dream Garage Corvette Edition. C7 ZR1, C5, because pop-up lights, right? <laughs> yes, because pop-up lights, yes. I love these two being parked next to each other. We just like the evolution of like how they change. I really love the evolution of these lights. Because what are these called? These like, weren't these called like some like, having to do with like eggs or like egg yolk or something like that? But, <laughs> really great one of the greatest evolutions of headlights we've seen <laughs> because the headlights of a Porsche really really like almost make the Porsche if cars have personalities and the front bumpers morphed into faces literally a Porsche <laughs> would just be looking at you the whole entire time like not even blinking that's <laughs> because of <laughs> oh my gosh I'm in here having a blast <laughs> Uh, I, can't, I can't stop looking at these either. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm about to get going. I'm really excited about uh, this Friday. I want to see what what pulls up. It's gonna be fun. Um, I got I got pee. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, I'm hungry because that food that they was they was eating earlier smells really good. So yeah, I'm about to do that too. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.